Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So I've decided to start a new series in which I try to answer the questions that you ask uh, in the comments. I figured a lot of topics that you ask about are actually pretty good subjects to cover. So creating separate videos for them uh, can help you find your answer and also can be useful for others. So please feel free to ask uh, your questions about my videos or about Unreal in general in the comments sections of my videos and I try to uh, make separate videos for them. So today's question is about how we can merge different meshes into one single static mesh. This question was asked by user UP8SJ2MV2D and uh, I think it's a pretty good subject to talk about. Uh, he says that he wants to turn groups or different static meshes into one single static mesh. And the answer is that yes, there is a way to do that and it's actually a very easy process. In order to demonstrate how we can merge meshes together and uh, when we need to do that, I decided to download a model from Sketchfab and uh, showcase the subject using this model. Uh, this is a Mercedes and it is a pretty decent model. It has a lot of different parts and when you download it, you see that uh, there are a lot of materials and there are a lot of textures. This is the FBX file and when you drag it into your content browser, it will look like this. You will have all the materials, all the textures and the model will come in separate parts. If you want to have the car in your scene, you can't just uh, select one of these guys and drag it here and obviously you have to select them all and drag them together. So let me delete this and do it again so you can see what I'm talking about. Here you just need to find the first one and then scroll down to the final part of the car. Hold shift and then drag it into your level. Now you can see that we have a lot of static meshes here and it can actually be pretty annoying to work with. For example, when you want to move the car, you can't just select the body and move it. You have to select all of your meshes from the outliner and it can be actually a tedious process to do. Of course, you can select them all and uh, create a group, but having a single static mesh is much easier to work with. Just uh, select them and then go to the Actors tab and from the Merge Actors hit Merge. Here it will ask you the location of the new static mesh that you want to create. Here I have created a folder called Merged Car and I'm going to put my new static mesh here. Now you can see that we have a new static mesh called SM Merged. It's created by combining all the different static meshes that we had and it has also created different material slots so we can have control over the different parts of the uh, car and we are able to assign different materials to it. Here I'm going to drag it to the scene and now you can see that it's a single static mesh and it's much easier to work with and much easier to handle. We also have a couple of settings when we want to merge our actors. For example, you can uh, turn on nanites and create a nanite mesh when they are combined or you can play with the light map resolution. Uh, you have the option to generate light map UVs and there are other options that can be used based on your needs. Yeah, that's it guys and I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you have any questions about uh, my tutorials or about Unreal in general, please feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try to make a video about it as soon as possible. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you later.